I believe that it was only a matter of time before this individual did something like that. I'm going to tell you where certain things went wrong and what Aaron Hernandez truly needed at certain points in, in his life. And I believe if he would have had some of the help that he truly needed at the right time, and if this was more understood, I believe he would still be here today. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's tough to say if, if Odin... It, the timing would have have been perfect. It would have had to have been perfect to save the situation. Um, but this right here is the reason uh, why Aaron Hernandez went so deep into the draft. Nobody knew what was going on, but everyone knew that something was. Again, you cannot blame owner, coaching staff, or the entire organization of the Patriots. They got it right because they took a chance. They got it right. But what Aaron Hernandez did off the field, he used that. He did not use this on the field. What he used on the field was the conscious mind, muscle memory, Pure and simple. That's the answer to the question. How did Aaron Hernandez commit murder and play for an entire year for the New England Patriots? Because he was on autopilot, muscle memory, conscious mind. Simple as that. Sometimes it's actually a bad thing to make, to, to make things complicated. Sometimes it's really a bad thing to think there's something more. I mean, is it really difficult to think that because of the abuse that he suffered and the outside world not, have, not having any knowledge of it whatsoever and the notoriety and popularity of his father in the community and Terry, his mother's desire to show extreme loyalty for her husband inside the home as a result of who maybe what she was and also what was going on outside and the king? <laughs> Is it possible that it's so simple that that dynamic and the abuse that Aaron Hernandez suffered in this situation at such an early age created a situation that takes another human being's life <laughs> and his own? Does it always have to be so complicated? Well, when we talk about more in the video, let's see if I'm right. Because I don't think so. I think it is just this simple. Now, critical in the documentary uh, about Aaron Hernandez and what led up to the killing of Odin Lloyd was a very, very critical moment. And we all know what that was. And that was the death of his father. What happened to that little boy in Aaron Hernandez with the death of his father? The control and the fear of that little boy inside Aaron Hernandez was completely lost. Even in the documentary, at his father's wake, he didn't show any emotion. Even when his friend uh, went to drive him around in the documentary, it states for three hours, they didn't talk. The energy that his friend speaks about was just being there for him, to feel it. But what was really going on inside Aaron Hernandez was a search, and that's why he was so quiet. And what he was searching for was this. Who is going to control me now? Not from committing murder, just period. Who's going to control me? Who's going to tell me what to do and when? Who is going to put... fear into me and it gets worse who is going to hold back being gay his father from birth all the way through until his death handled all of that all the while, his dad 
was the king to the outside world? What did he not have to deal with as it relates to control, fear, and being a homosexual, or even bi? His mom. Aaron didn't have to worry about his mom because the loyalty to the king. And because of that, Aaron never had to truly come to grips with the weakness of his mom. That is an extremely devastating thing to a little boy. Very, very hard and abusive to that inner child, that inner self, that development of a little boy to see his mom that weak. And then to, to, to witness the physical abuse of this individual but to the outside world, the king, completely annihilated and separated Aaron Hernandez's inner child, annihilated it. But with the death of his father, the control, the fear, and his feelings of homosexuality hit him like a ton of bricks. That's the no emotion at the wake. That is the three-hour drive, and that is the starting point that Kristen talks about, that this is not going to be good. But what everybody thought was that it was because he was so close to his father. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, mm -mm. no. The death of Aaron Hernandez's father was the starting point of the sociopath coming to life. Dennis Hernandez and his death, the starting point, but not because Aaron Hernandez was so close to his father, because Aaron Hernandez and that inner child and that completely disconnect now had to deal with all of this. Now we're going to get into how he dealt with it, the reality of who took the place of Dennis Hernandez. Before we move forward, there's one thing that I want to uh, address, and uh, that is uh, DJ and University of Connecticut and Florida. The documentary doesn't get into it too much, but I think there's more to the story with regards to Aaron Hernandez leaving the University of Connecticut, uh, leaving his brother, and going to Florida. I, I will say this, allure of Florida and being close to home and Friends and family, and I'll get into this in a second, because this plays a major role in that. But there was just enough control at to the level that Aaron's inner child needed. So there was a lot of, there was fear uh, of, of if you didn't play well enough, you were gone. Uh, the talent was at the highest level. That is what the life of Dennis Hernandez was. And if that's as simple as it is, then I'm all about it. But there are question marks there because the University of Connecticut and going to Florida and DJ not being around and the, and the individuals that came into Aaron's life. Yeah, there's, there's something there. I'm not 100%. Uh, but in closing, Aaron going to Florida gave Aaron Hernandez and his inner self the control and the rebirth of that fear, keeping homosexuality contained or his, or his thoughts and feelings on that, and, and the control slash fear of if you do not measure up, you're out. That is the measure of Dennis Hernandez that Aaron needed. And so it, at this point in time, when Aaron is at Florida, it's that one door closing and another one opening.